Ready. All right, so here is the wrestler slash grappler, the team Sarah Longo rep, Marab Dwalish, really one of several Georgian fighters that have emerged over the last several years, and you got to think you're going to get a takedown attempt here early in this round, DC. Marab doesn't make any bones about it. The opposition knows what's coming more often than not. They're unable to stop. Throwing that jab, no good. As the fight goes on, you'll see Figueredo pick it up a little bit as he starts to feel more comfortable. Trying to get the big shots off. Everything he throws with absolute power. From his punches to his kicks, just power in everything he does. Swing and a miss by Dwellish Wolf. starting to develop. Well, John, you can tell they had a game plan. Invest in the body early, and let's see how it pays down the line. Right now, you can start to see it's paying dividends. Clean left punch followed by the right. Caught that kick there. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Dwellish Willis cut above the eye, and that blood figures to start to trickle down. Could compromise his vision here moving forward. And he caught the kick. Well, that is exactly how you turn defense into offense. Catches the kick and dumps him on the mat. What a great job timing that kick, driving into his opponent and putting him on his back. Well, man, has he come out with a point to prove tonight. Aggressive right out of the shoot and really has landed at a pretty high clip here in this first round. Technical, but also aggressive and accurate. A very good start for him here tonight. Oh, that's the flying knee. Oh, beautiful jab there by Figueroa. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up. Leg attempt here. Nice job to catch the leg and work it into a takedown. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different. And he's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. First round winding down here. Oh, 
tough to take down, no problem. Five. Round two next. Five. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, back to the stools between rounds, and I guess nothing a little Botox can't fix, but let us show you the replay and ultimately the strike that caused that significant damage to his forehead. I mean, his forehead, you, you don't see it very often, but even when BJ Penn kick Diego Sanchez, the damage and the blood that flies off the head whenever you get a head kick to the head, it's, it's very difficult to Ready. deal with or get a cut Good. on the forehead. He's got to change his approach now to really protect himself. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be compromising the vision as yet, but he will need to protect himself so it doesn't get worse here in the next round. Oh, you talk about mixing the martial arts. Perfect strategy here. Wallace Willie's in half guard now. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. It seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Well, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He worked with that cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the right side position come in here and try to stop this fight. Nice side there by the champ. Man, he's so well-rounded, but he thought that front kick would be key tonight. It certainly has been. Weapons up the middle are what you're supposed to throw against the wrestler. It doesn't allow them to level change and get into you. Think about Jorge Masvidal and Manash. Up the middle, you level change, you run into a big knee. Or, in this case, that front kick. All right, so if you and I ever fight, I'm going front kicks up the middle. You got to go front kicks and knees, dog. Only chance you got. Separate after exiting the clinch. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stick to all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best pitcher fighters in the UFC. And that one certainly found the target. He's throwing these punches in combination, really dictate the pace of his opponent. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Dallas Willie's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. Great kick to the body. Until he blocks it, you better keep throwing those body kicks. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent. I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to hit because his cardio is so good. Right. Figueredo's got his arm under the chin, going for a guillotine now. That guillotine is tight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get sunk. All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself with some hands, <laughs> you can fall in love with this. You can fall in love with the striking, but he is showing tonight that everything starts with his wrestling. He gives you the level change, which then in turn helps him land in the striking. He looks fantastic. I did not expect him to look this good in the boxing tonight. Well, there's no denying his toughness, but how much damage to the body can one man take? At some point, the referee's got to get involved, I would think. Well, someone, I mean, this guy's as tough as they come, and his toughness is, is, is really showing right now. But should it really have to? That's the question now. Someone should save this man from himself. Nice. Nicely done. Wallace Willie's nose is just donating blood by the second here. I'm not so sure that nose isn't broken, DC. Nice crack there. He gets to the single collar time. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Under a minute now to go in the round. Davis and Figueredo gets back up again. Nicely done. All right now, a little separation between the two fighters.
misses with the left hook. Figueredo's nose is bleeding. Now. Looks to be cut, perhaps there on the bridge. Just missed on the front kick there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Now the uppercuts are coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. Liver kick. Oh, the Superman punch lands. Dwallace Will is really bleeding heavily now. You got to think they might bring in the ringside position to take a look at that cut between rounds. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, back to the schools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. You're good. You're fine. We knew this was going to be like this. We knew we were going to have a war. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well done. All right, so he catches the kick there and beautifully counters with the takedown. So a nice job turning that defense into some immediate offense there. He did a great job of turning his defense into an offense, which you can see that he's done that time and time again. He drilled that exact action and it worked in this instance. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far, perhaps. Oh, massive diving punch, plus to the head. Dean steps in. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's going to be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned. Because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 58 seconds of round number three. Declared the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Davison Dunn.